going back to AJ Brown's uh, whole move into the the end zone there what did you see out of that and just how good was it to see him after some some dropped um catches the last couple of weeks to really kind of battle back today oh it's huge he made some really big plays for us uh, you mentioned the touchdown there you know, third and long situation if they can get it to his hands quick uh, if he gets gets the first down great you know, if not you know we're in a four down situation there and um you know he's able to to break i don't know how many three four tackles and really just will his way into the end zone. It's pretty amazing uh, play to watch happen. Uh, you pair that with the one he made a couple of plays before on the left side, where he again broke three or four tackles and was able to just keep going, gaining yards up the sideline. Uh, it was really cool and, uh, you know, glad to be part of it. Joe Rexroad. Ryan, on that play, uh, was there was there an adjustment there pre-snap between you and AJ? It looked like maybe you, you had something going there, you, you changed something, or was that just the, the route all along? Uh, you know, we always have have some things we can we can change up. Um, you know, sometimes they come up and, and sometimes we let it ride. So, um, you know, just AJ did a good, really good job of making a play in that situation. Jim, Ron, I imagine there's nothing like a walk off uh, to a game. What was kind of your emotion when you saw Derek break from the pack and and score? It was huge. You know, we've been moving the ball effectively. You know, I had a ton of confidence that. You know, as soon as we got the ball, that we were going to find a way to, to march it down and get in the end zone. Uh, they're, they're throwing the kitchen sink at us, bringing pressure almost every play. I'm uh, telling the guys to huddle. You know, they're bringing all this pressure. We get Derek on, make a miss on one guy, he'll be able to, to take it to the house. And that's exactly what he did. TD. Yeah, Ryan, when you get those big time plays from, from AJ Brown and then from Derek Henry, uh, what does that mean to the overall? you know, your perspective and the way you guys are, are clawing to, to stay in this playoff race? Oh, it's huge. You know, those guys made big plays. Uh, Derek ran hard all day. Had some really big runs for us. Corey made some big plays down the field for us. Um, AJ, of course, you mentioned, obviously, uh, just going beast mode there on those, uh, those two plays at the end of the fourth quarter. Um, so, the really guys stepped up. Ferkser makes some big plays for us. Um, one up there down, another one uh, on, earlier in that drive uh, in the fourth quarter. So, Hey guys that, that made plays all the way around and um, really just when, when we're at our best, that's what's happening is guys are making plays all across the offense. Paul. Ryan, after a little bit of a tough stretch, I'm wondering if you feel like you kind of reestablished the kind of grit and ability to withstand and, and take the hard path to, to get things done. Yeah. You know, we, I don't think we ever lost faith, but of course we were, we were, struggle a little bit you know, to put it simply um just weren't finishing weren't playing consistent enough and um we need to get back on track and, and today we were able to to fight through some adversity in the middle of the game um you know things weren't going our way in the middle of the game got down but that belief never stopped we, we've kind of felt the tide turning there in the fourth quarter on offense felt ourselves you know gaining momentum just eating up yards up front and making plays on the outside and um, you know, defense, defense kept us in it there at the end, hold them to a field goal at the end of regulation and then getting a big stop there in overtime. So, um, you know, I think there's a lot of confidence throughout our, our team that, you know, we've, we've been on a little bit of tough stretch there, but we've been in a tough situation. We're going to keep fighting and find a way to win. Buck? Yeah, Ryan, how would you, uh, how would you write Woodside's throw on that fake punt? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even see it. I, uh, I didn't know what was going on. I was – ticked off that we we didn't convert on uh, on third down uh, went over to the sideline was, was getting on the bench about to look at the uh the surface see what happened and um you know heard heard the conversion and we're back on the field so i'll have to take a look at it on tape but you know i'm sure he'll say it's a better best throw of the day terry ryan you, you talked a little bit about the i guess the lull and getting down there for a while but what was it that kind of triggered that rhythm that you guys got into, especially in the passing game there in the late in the third and early in the fourth. Yeah, we just kept plugging away. You know, we, uh, we missed some opportunities early in the game and and just kept with it, kept pounding away in the run game, taking shots uh, through the air. And then, you know, things started finally going our way uh, there towards the end of the game. So sometimes that's the way it goes. You just got to kind of stay with it, stay with the plan, keep swinging, taking shots and, um, you know, believe in each other that eventually Things are going to start heading your way. Two more, John Glennon. 
Hey, Ryan, uh, it's been pretty rare over the years to see Derrick Henry get hit hard enough to, to leave a game. Uh, took a pretty big hit uh, today and left. I wonder what you thought when he took that hit and, and then the fact that he's bounced right back in there, uh, you know, like one play later and ends up getting the, uh, the, the winning touchdown there. Yeah, Derrick's extremely tough. He's a competitor. He runs hard. Um, you know, he's taking a pounding each and every game and, and continues to just keep fight through that. Uh, saw him go up in the air on that play. I mean, it was like time slowed down. I was, you know, thinking no um, as I saw him coming down. Just uh, tough, tough situation to be in when you're in the air like that, a guy coming at you. But um, he might be a little sore, but he, he's a fighter. Came back in and obviously made some huge plays for us there at the end. Thanks. Last one, Joe Rexroad. Yeah, Ryan, kind of a follow-up to Terry's question about the rhythm. What about just you in particular? Obviously, missing some throws early, you had the pick. And then was there a throw or a moment that got you kind of jolted into that rhythm that you had the, the rest of the game late? No, I don't think so. I mean, like I said, sometimes you just got to keep keep playing. And, um, you know, tough situation there on the pick. But uh, you just got to keep playing and uh, keep firing, you know, keep swinging. You don't like missing, but, but when you do miss, you know, you just got to keep swinging, you know, have that confidence in your receivers um, or backs or tight ends, wherever you're throwing the ball to, and um, that belief that they're going to make the play. So I'm going to keep swinging, keep firing away, and, and believe those guys are going to make the play.